At this hour, America is racing to institute same-sex marriage from sea to shining sea, a veritable blitzkrieg. All of the talking heads babble endlessly in a 24-7 sophistry extravaganza, a nationwide game of rearranging deck chairs while the Titanic heads for the bottom of the ocean. Boy, does Satan know how to put on a show. The prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh, in the children of disobedience. There is not one person who will speak gospel truth on the matter and lay the ax to the root of this stinking, rotten tree. It's laughable to listen to you phony Christians make apologetic arguments, not willing to have boldness and plainness of speech, knowing that it would be deadly to the bottom line. No more butts in the seats, no more dollars in the box. You long ago cast aside the scriptures on the matter of marriage. You have made it a laughable farce. Your pews are littered with fornicating jackrabbits, divorced and remarried people living in open adultery. All you can do at this time is pucker up and kiss fag ass. By the grace of God, the servants of the Most High at the Westboro Baptist Church have not drawn back to perdition and we will help you to get a right perspective on marriage. Marriage is the most ancient of human institutions and was established by God in the Garden of Eden. It is emblematic of Christ and His bride, the Church. As Eve was created for Adam and taken from his side, so the Church, the bride of Christ, was bought with His precious blood flowing from His pierced side. It is a beautiful thing and to be handled with the utmost of sincerity, sobriety, and care. Jesus Christ says this, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Paul speaks to marriage like this. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. You won't hear this preached in America's churches. Notions of feminism have obliterated simple godliness and obedience. Children are your oppressors, and women rule over you, America. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church, and gave himself for it. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Now that's marriage. Beautiful. Those simple words which ought to be daily, nay hourly, in the minds of every married person on this earth, have been discarded and replaced with pop psychology and endless babbling about your feelings. God hates you for all of that sophistical blather. Malachi addresses it like this. Judah hath dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and Jerusalem. Yet you say, Wherefore? Because the Lord hath been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously. Yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. You can talk all day about your irreconcilable differences, but that woman that you married is and will forever be your wife. Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord, the God of Israel, saith that he hateth putting away. God hates divorce. For one covereth violence with his garment, saith the Lord of hosts. God has made one of twain, and now you violently rip that body apart 
and think that you can cover it with a garment of foolish words. Therefore take heed to your spirit that ye deal not treacherously. Ye have wearied the Lord with your words. You have dealt treacherously, America, and the God of judgment sees it. You have gone whoring after strange gods and strange flesh, and now God has blinded your eyes and hardened your hearts and turned you over to the lust of the flesh, the natural result of which is fag marriage. You are messing with the wrong God, America. This is the living God, whose will is done amongst the armies of heaven and the inhabitants of this earth. Wake up! Your destruction is imminent. Amen. For more good Bible preaching, go to GodHatesFags.com. To find out why your nation is doomed, go to GodHatesTheWorld.com. For news, parodies, and documentaries about our doctrine, go to signmovies.com. For news on the pedophile rape machine called Catholicism, go to priestsgreatboys.com. For more on the pure heresy and idolatry called Islam, go to godhatesislam.com. To see the mask peeled off the fag juggernaut, go to godhatesthemedia.com. And for WBC blogs, go to blogs.sparenot.com.